Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Aki from Aki's Place. It's been a while again. Um, yeah, I can't remember when was the last time I took a made a video. Oh, I did. The, did I do a DIY? Maybe it was just shorts. But um, yeah, I wanted to update and like hopefully I can more get into the making videos more. But like we finally, after two years of uh, house hunting, we purchased a house and we're moving actually our big move is gonna be on next monday and um when the movers comes in and move all the big stuff but i wanted to move the plants um before that big move so saturday is the day that we're going to do the plant moving my plant friend is helping me so hopefully we could get all the plants moved into the new house before uh the big move because this like all the plants looking at them so stressed me out because i have so many stuff to pack but yeah i wanted to make a video for that um I, i've seen a lot of people like using crates but like i'm really on a budget because i bought so much stuff for the new house and i'm so broke so i went to costco and grabbed some boxes uh, boxes like something like this that that can be stackable i think this will fit perfectly like my hoyas will fit perfectly in here and then i can stack it up i got five of this i think so i could probably get all the hoyas in here um and also i'm i'm still dealing with all the mealy and i have seen thrips coming back again so i want to treat that while i'll do do the um packing so i as that two last weekend two weekend i went we went to new york um rochester new york and i picked up i wanted i've never used this before i don't think i know this brand like i normally use the other uh what is it called i can't remember and systemic for house plants but like they didn't have it and uh i found this so i think it, i looked it up and it's similar it is a systemic and um with an instant um touch they all the the pests will die apparently so i'm gonna try this and i'm just gonna um it should be a powder so i have a brush and i'm just gonna brush all the leaves in as i pack into the pack into this boxes and then it's winter but in toronto this year is very mild so I don't know like i have a big plastic bag but i'm not sure if i'm gonna bag it i think they should be okay because it's not as cold it's it's not minus it's so cold like two three degrees but like i don't think it goes below minus so yeah let's let's just try this and i am also yeah just gonna vlog this um journey plant journey moving moving into new house and then in the end i would like to do a house tour in a new house so i'm so excited about this but um yeah i'm gonna treat i'm gonna have to get rid of this shelf and then yeah pack all this hoyas and then treat treat them with this systemic oh, oopsie i don't know anyway i'm gonna yeah do that i don't know where my selfie stick is but okay I'm going to put mask on just in case because it is covered. Cactus and then like just like few 
few plants left out. <sighs> It looks such a mess. So I'm back home again of uh, plants. Most of the plants are uh, moved. I know. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm back home again. Most of the plants are moved to the new house. Thanks to my friend Fred. She helped me. Um, yeah, she brought her car. So we were able to manage to take two cars. So um, it's just the little plants that are left here. Um, and then this and Oh my gosh, the house is so messy. Um, yeah, I think, um, I don't know if I'm gonna take those two because they're not doing so well. But yeah, and um, sorry, this is such a, so embarrassing. Euphorbia, I can't remember the type, but it's a variegated one. Um, I'm gonna have to take this, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but slowly. But yeah, that's it, and all the plants are gone. It's, it's so weird. To see our condo. How I think I got thorn in my in my finger. Um, yeah. So I just disassemble the plant shelf that was here and the chest um, here, and we're gonna take that. My husband went to drop the kids off at um, friends so they can hang out, and so that we have more space to put away uh, thorns. Trying to get the thorns out of my finger. Um, yeah, so that we, we have more space to um, put away, not put away, load the shelves and this glass. I'm so worried because they're so thin, but we'll see. Um, and then uh, there's a little the Christmas tree is up, not all the way, but like I want to at least have the lights decorated in the new house. So yeah, still the vlog still goes on. Hi guys, I wanted to make like all the journey, like I wanted to film all the journeys, but like I couldn't find my selfie stick and then I found it, but then like I had the wrong thingy, so, and I was too busy um, trying to get things in, but like we have every plant but one, which is my euphobia, it's a tall cactus. So I'm gonna have to careful to bring it. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow, but pretty much everything's set up and I brought the shelves in yesterday. So I'm trying to set up this Milzebo cabinet and the birds, I brought the birds in today because we're having the mover coming in tomorrow and we don't want it to, uh, they'll probably freak out. So I didn't want that. Like I didn't want them to have a lot of stress over those so we decided to have the birds move in the day before the big move so i'm so sweating but uh let's turn the camera so yeah the plants are all here and in the kitchen i'm trying to make space because we're gonna have all the furniture coming in tomorrow we don't have a couch yet which is good because um yeah it's gonna take up a lot of space when the couch is here and i we came in the morning to set up our Christmas tree. Oops, let's see. It's pretty big. I can't believe this tree was in our condo. It was taking up so much space. But it looks really nice. And I think the birdcage is going to go in between this window here. But um, I would like to... I would like to put a floating shelves here. I thought about putting it here. But I think floating shelf would be nicer on this shelf and then have the cabinet next to it and all the Hoya is going to go here. I'm not sure where the other uh, shelf that I have. I was thinking here but now the Christmas is taking up space. Maybe I guess I have to think about where to put that one. That's just too big. Um, yeah, maybe the plant shelf goes here but yeah. So glad it's a mild winter this year in Toronto so the day where we had to move the plants it was around 10 degrees I think so all the plants survive I think and I treat it with the systemic uh, powder not all of them but like I'm sure I have to do the rest when I when I bring the powder in but like that's good I hope my plumeria will love the, I think it's west facing, or is it? I can't remember, I 
think it's West Face. So we get a strong sun. So it'll probably like it. But yeah, let's let's just finish this and I need to go home and um get ready for tomorrow. which pot went in with that, all the plants, so this will be okay for now. Um, I still found Lily, even though I powdered it, but then it got really, um, it was really, what do you call it? The box was kind of wet, so I, I heard that it's not effective unless it's dry, so I probably need to powder again like a week later, but it's okay. Um, yeah, I need, really need to figure out how to trail this um, Gloriosum, but I think it looks okay. I still have a little, have a little bit of time, and so I think I'm going to go to the other shop. just like that so I can't build a shelf right now and I also realized I knocked the seedling I was growing conophytum conophytum pagia pagia actually I found the mature one so it's it's okay but like it looks like a lip that's not that cool the white stuff is not mealy okay those are the powder uh systemic powder that I sprinkle on but yeah I'm so sad I, I can't remember how many germinated. I know I like sprinkled 10, about 10 seeds from UK. And then I can see like four, but like I don't remember how many. <laughs> uh, I'm so sad. But okay, so um, yeah, I'll make a video again and finish this video once everything's in place. Uh, just want to show you, look, the variegated bear paw. This flower looks so pretty. Look. It's just like one of my favorite succulent for sure. That's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna pause. I found this screw set, so I put the shelf right here on the right side. I really thought it was gonna fit just fine, but like it barely, barely like fit. <laughs> it's, it's like touching and almost like pushing, but it'll be okay. So yeah, it's fine now. I'm gonna put the plants in. Hi guys, I've been meaning to finish this film, but um, yeah, just unpacking and doing stuff, trying to settle in during Christmas and New Year's got busy, but here are the plants. Um, most of them are in here. And then I really wanted, um, here's the Zebrina, and it was actually, I need something to give a little height so I can see the plants, but um, I, I actually wanted to do a separate video on this, but like, it was just so hard to yeah film everything while making with yeah just everything going around so like i couldn't film it but like this is a shelf i made it's a wall shelf um it looks so nice it's, it's mostly hoyas it's um hoyas and some plants different plants but uh i'm just loving this section right here we do get oh it's a west facing window but because of that um, the roof part. I'm not. I'm a little worried that these are not getting a light, so I may have to put a spot spotlight. Like I need to replace that light into a spotlight um, to uh, some kind of grow light. 
um, but I'm really loving this and the chest. I want to do another DIY video replacing the handle, maybe next one. But I will definitely do a whole plant tour once everything's unpacked. Um, basement's not quite done yet. I have some plants in my office room. Luna, stop, stop, too loud. But yeah. So. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one soon. I will definitely film something soon because I have a lot of projects in my mind. But thank you. Happy New Year's. Thanks for watching.